good morning students today we are going to study about disaster let's see the definition of disaster which is the first topic disaster is a sudden calamitous event bringing great damage loss and destruction and devastation to life and property okay so it means it is sudden calamitous means it causes lot of damage okay and loss and destruction and devastation to life and property so there are two things that get damaged one is the human life the other is the property so any disaster there is loss of life and property and it causes damage or loss damage means it is broken but it is uh, can be repaired loss means it's completely gone destruction is also completely uh, damaged so one important word here is disaster is sudden okay so nobody knows when it will happen if you know what will happen when it will happen you can take precaution okay so the next definition is a sudden occurrence of an accident that causes huge loss of life or property is called as disaster it is also called as a calamity okay so sudden occurrence of an accident so nobody can predict when it can happen accident if you all know why, when an accident will happen we can all prevent accidents nobody will get injured nobody will die so nobody knows when accident can happen how it will happen so same way disaster will happen and it will cause huge loss of life and property okay so how what is the name disaster and how did it come from it is from a french word called disastre okay it consists of two words des means bad aster means star okay that means in ancient days people thought because of bad star these evil things happen okay even today we think that when when the stars are not right then bad things will happen okay so that is a little like superstition but that is how the word disaster came from two words des meaning bad aster meaning star so when there is evil star in the sky then disaster can happen bad things can happen okay so next we come to the types of disasters there are two types of disasters natural disaster man made disaster okay natural disaster man does not have a role to play it happens on its own like tsunami earthquake volcano all these are natural disasters okay man made disaster the other name is anthropogenic okay anthropo means human cause human cause or man made disaster a disaster that is caused due to human activities like war fire accident industrial accident all these are man made disasters okay so now let us see some of the major disasters major man natural disasters are flood cyclone drought and earthquake flood you know cyclone you know what it is drought means when there is no water no food uh, agriculture can be done so there is lot of famine or food is not available earthquake also you know what it is minor na- natural disasters are cold wave when the temperature is very cold sudden drop in temperature can happen thunder storms you know when there is thunder storm people die because of lightning people die because of the wind where uh, trees will fall houses will collapse so that is thunder storm heat waves that we all know due to heat it causes dehydration people die and the heat becomes too much in velour we are used to experiencing 40 to 43 degrees of temperature in summer sometimes if it goes to 47 50 like that it is the peak heat that can happen when dry hot wind blows from the other areas into the this thing so it is brought by the wind and mud slides you know in hill areas mud can slide the hill can slide that is called mud slide and storm is like a cyclone then we come to ma- major man made disasters that is fires there is huge fire you know in in the 16th or 17th century london the whole city was destroyed by fire okay whole city was destroyed by fire that is the extent of fire so man made disasters can be fire epidemic see epidemic is caused by some pathogen but sometimes even like this corona virus people are wondering whether china caused the virus so like that if there is a virus or bacteria which spreads in a particular area it's which is a epidemic it's due to man made reason deforestation when you cut down trees then uh, mud can slide you know the trees the roots of the trees hold the mud 
so when the trees are cut the hill can collapse the water the sand can come down from the uh, hill that is and cutting down of trees is actually called deforestation that changes the climate also then pollution due to prawn cultivation pollution generally because of uh, vehicles industries and also specifically prawn cultivation it causes water pollution then chemical pollution you know in in ambur rani pet there we have a lot of leather factories so what happens to the water after treating the leather it is sent to the uh, lake or river pala river so that causes uh, chemical pollution of the water even if there is no water in the pala river what happens is the water from the uh, effluent water as we call it comes out from these plants it goes to the underground water mixes with the underground water so when you drink the underground water it contains all these chemicals that to bad chemicals that causes man made disasters you uh, recently we heard in visakhapatnam there was a huge leakage of gas and in india one of the greatest gas disasters is bhopal gas tragedy and recently visakhapatnam there was a gas uh, leakage which killed some few people around 20 people and uh, thousands of people got uh, poisoning so these kind of chemical pollution can cause long term damage also it damages the de- genes inside your body and when children are born in that area they get cancer people get cancer children are born with uh, deformities so all these can happen due to chemical pollution then war is a ma- major man made disaster other minor man made disasters are road accidents train accidents food poisoning then industrial disaster environmental pollution so all these are minor man made disasters so what is the damage caused by the disaster it actually varies with the geographical location climate for example there is if you if your uh, water level is very low because of mangrove forests you know there are forests in the sea where the in the coastal area that can reduce the effect of storm that can reduce the effect of tsunami so based on the location based on the climate based on the earth area surface based on other aspects the disaster can vary the the extent of disaster can vary so when disaster occurs it affects the mental socio economic political and cultural state of the affected people okay so all these things are affected so the next topic for you is disaster dimension what is dimension dimension means extent to which damage occurs or the effects of disaster so i have given a few points for you to easily understand and remember so the disaster dimension means it disrupts the normal life see even now corona virus it is not a man it probably is not a man made disaster but it has disrupted your normal life we are not having a normal life you are staying at home we are teaching from uh, remote online methods so it disrupts your normal pattern of life there is no transport available and it is usually severe and sudden unexpected and widespread so i, I hope you understand these words just imagine corona virus it was sudden it was severe it was unexpected and it is widespread it is spread all over the world so that is how disaster happens okay then disaster can lead to loss of life injury hardship and negative or adverse effects on health so just like any volcano any uh, cyclone any of these disasters when it happens it leads to loss of life people can die or people can get injured and then their life is put into a lot of hardship there is a lot of negative effect on the health of the people and then the infrastructure that is the houses and buildings that can be damaged in case there are disasters like fire and volcano and flood and things like that it can lead to damage to all these buildings and that will disrupt all the normal day to day life in a, in coronavirus all over the world it is affected there are some disasters which occur in a particular area for example in the gas leakage in visakhapatnam the city was affected only that city so like that whichever place there is disaster that area gets completely disrupted and there is no normal day to day life activities cannot be uh, happening then the disaster can negatively influence the emergency system even now you know hospitals are emergency uh, systems and the hospitals in 
மும்பை சென்னை டெல்லி தே ஆர் ஃபுல் ஆல் த ஐசியூ பெட்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபுல் தேர் ஆர் நோ ஐசியூ பெட்ஸ் ஈச் பர்சன் ஹூ கெட்ஸ் சீரியஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் கொரோனா வைரஸ் தே ஹேவ் டு சர்ச் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் டு அனதர் ஃபார் டூ டேஸ் டு கெட் அ பெட் இன் த ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ஸோ லைக் தேட் இட் நெகட்டிவ்லி இன்ஃப்ளூயன்சஸ் த எமர்ஜென்சி சிஸ்டம் த பீப்புள் ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஹேவ் எனஃப் ப்ளேஸ் டு கோ டு த ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் நோ தேர் ஆர் நோ ப்ளேஸ் இன் த ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் ஸோ இட் ஓவர் வில்ம்ஸ் த எமர்ஜென்சி சிஸ்டம் இட் கம்ப்ளீட்லி ஓவர் வில்ம்ஸ் இட் ஓகே then the normal needs and process like food shelter health are affected so people are not able to get food people don't get proper shelter their health is affected you know because of coronavirus what happened normal people who had heart attack who had the hypertension they are not able to get treatment because all the hospitals are focused on treating the coronavirus then due to lockdown we had inability to get the food same way when there was chennai floods people were the, the whole city was flooded from outside the vegetables could not enter chennai city and all the vegetables provision stores everything inside the city were affected and food was not available so people had to make food from other places and drop through helicopters and other things so like that the other dimension of disaster is that food shelter and health get affected and the next thing is the fun- society itself cannot function there is a disruption on the functioning of society okay this is easy to understand you all know what the society is and how it functions so there is disruption then it causes human material environmental loss which we have already studied there is a lot of loss or destruction and then the affected society there is it cannot use its own resources because the all the resources are used or it is damaged so outside people only have to provide resources okay so the next thing is what are the features of a disaster okay disaster may have some of the following features unpredictability okay you cannot predict what how things will happen you may not know when it will happen can you ever predict an earthquake does anybody know when an earthquake will occur and where it will occur if we all know when disaster will happen we will run away from that place when the disaster is happening so nobody knows when a disaster will happen it is unpredictable you cannot predict it okay unfamiliarity so you will not know what will happen nobody knew last in 2019 or even january 2020 when you celebrated new year did you know that all the institutions will be shut down there will be loss people will suffer so much we all did not know so unfamiliarity with the situation speed it is a fast event you know when march 15th when you came to college you never know that within 10 days the college will be shut down for 2 months so the speed at which a disaster happens is very quick then urgency there is a lot of urgency uncertainty you don't know what will happen when it will happen how it will happen so that kind of uncertainty is there and there is a threat to the life and property so these are the common features of a disaster okay then we'll come to classification already we studied one type of classification based on type of disasters the next is the onset of disaster one can be sudden onset disaster like for example the earthquake flood tsunami tidal waves these are all things which happen suddenly okay they are sudden onset nobody knows when it will happen and when it happens it will happen very quickly so when it happens suddenly you cannot prepare for it okay but at the same time there are other uh, disasters which are slow onset disasters for example drought you know when there is no rain for 2 years you already know that drought might come the f- crops will not grow because there is no rain so that is a slow thing which happens over a period of time then famine what is famine famine means lack of food there is no food because of no uh, because of no water okay then environmental degradation cutting down of trees which is deforestation all this happens slowly it does not happen within one day it happens slowly over a period of time <coughs> okay uh, so this is slow onset disaster but they have the same effect of uh, sudden onset disasters to an extent then industrial and technological disasters so this is caused because of uh, pollution spillage explosion fire from a industry like i told the example of visakhapatnam you all know it happened recently that there was gas leakage you would have still seen videos of it in the uh, social media and because of that there was a lot of people who get uh, who got affected and even 
died so that is industrial and technological disaster then complex emergencies you know complex emergencies are usually man made with many factors you know for example uh, there is a terrorist attack if there is a terrorist attack what happened the country fights against the next country for example in india the balakot strike when india indian army went and uh, hit pakistan okay that was preceded by a terrorist strike so these are complex emergencies one thing leads to another so you never know how it will uh, pan out or how it will work so one emergency will happen like that it will get expanded and suddenly too many emergencies happen that is complex emergency disaster then epidemic disaster diseases you know epidemic disease are uh, what we have in coronavirus is a pandemic that is all over the world to a large area it happens epidemic means it is not to all areas but in certain communities it is very high uh, number of people get affected so this can be measles respiratory infections dysentery uh, hiv even plague so these are some, cholera these are some of the things which happen because of uh, contaminated water food and then it spreads from one person to another sometimes animals like rats they carry these diseases or mosquitoes carry these diseases so these are epidemic diseases so these can be prevented but you if the health system is good then it could have or the public health system is good it could have been prevented so these are epidemic diseases then let's see what are the impact of disaster so how does it impact the physical impact physical means structural damage okay so when there is earthquake cyclone and things like that the physical infrastructure that is buildings get damaged and they get broken okay so that is physical uh, impact then the social impact social impact means how the people are affected their psychosocial aspects the economic aspects political aspects so all these also get affected so people are not able to live normally in the society like they lived previously there is a change in the society because of loss of income because of loss of property so like that when it happens it's called social impact okay so it could be psychosocial it could be economic it could be political it could be purely social so all these are social impacts then specifically psychosocial every disaster you know people are affected psychologically and socially socially you know in when the tsunami occurred lot of the men who were who were working they died so women and children were left alone so children especially lot of children became orphans their both the parents were lost so they needed lot of psychological help to overcome the anxiety overcome the depression even because of corona virus you know lot of you get a lot of news where in chennai there was one barber who spent a lot of money for his shop now because he had lot of loss he killed himself or committed suicide so these are psychosocial problems depression anxiety grief which occur because of uh, disasters then the next is socio demographic impact so the demography actually changes okay when the when repeatedly there is a uh, uh, disaster happening in a particular area people move from that area so whole societies can move from one place to another so these are socio demographic changes when happen because of uh, disasters then socio economic and political impacts okay socio economic is easy to understand it can be you can call it economic impact so mainly because people are losing their jobs you know in america because of corona virus the unemployed people is 4.5 million people and the government is providing some food and everything for them same way in india you know the migrant population you would have heard on tv the people who work in various fields industries because all the shops industries were closed they did not have any income even auto drivers bus conductors you know even in cmc hospital there is a 30% salary cut for the people who work there so every industry gets impacted and money is difficult so that is a socio economic impact then political impact so because of all these things the government is blamed at times if the government does not take proper care of the people then it can have political impact also okay so the government has made disaster management act of 2005 and 
there is a response national disaster management team is there so in the next class we will see the structure of that uh, organization how the disaster management act is and how uh, the structure of the disaster management team is uh, present in our country okay thank you